Hello YouTube. Um, today we're going to do something a little different than what has been posted on this channel previously. And that is something that has taken a personal interest of mine because of where I'm located. I'm from Michigan and uh, as some of you may have heard, we have a bit of an issue in Flint. The Flint water crisis is being coined around the country right now um, because the water quality in Flint is atrocious and it's the state's fault. But anyway, that's not what this is about. What this is about today is finding out how pure some of the common water bottles we drink from actually are. And what we're going to be using is this um, TDS, uh, it's actually the TDS-EZ. It's a PPM detector or parts per million detector. And uh, the easiest way to explain parts per million is dissolved solids. And the lower the level is, the more pure the water is. So. Lower equals better, higher equals worse. Now, this particular detector costs about $15 on Amazon. It's um, super easy to use. There's nothing complicated to it. It's like a thermometer, for example. Um, it even comes with a little guide on the back that, uh, you probably can't see that. A little guide on the back that just kind of gives you the healthy ranges um, that you'll detect with. Anything over a thousand is considered harmful, but the EPA recommends that you should drink, be drinking water that's below 500. Now, what I have here are a collection of uh, pretty popular waters. I mean, everyone knows Smart Water, Fiji, Ice Mountain, Dasani, Aquafina, and then these other three are just for personal interest. This is a water bottled in Jackson, Michigan. Um, this is my tap water here, which is city water run through a Brita filter pitcher, which is something a lot of people have in their houses right now. And then this cup on the end is actually just straight tap water. So we're gonna be testing all of these and seeing um, what the parts per million levels are for each of them and finding out which one is the purest to drink. Now, uh, with that being said, the process is pretty simple. Um, if you've never used one of these, there's nothing easier to use. Dip it in the water on this end there's a probe, and uh, you just kind of swirl it around and get the air bubbles out. It'll give you an accurate reading after just a couple of seconds, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So we're going to start with the tap water down on the end here so we can use that as a good reference point. Um, I have no problems drinking tap water. Some people do, some people don't, but uh, here we go. So the first reading we have here is the tap water city water for me. Good reference point for the rest of these. Comes out to 400 ppm's even. It kind of bounced around between 399 and 401, but 400 is the average, so we're going to use that. 400 ppm's is um, not the greatest, but it's definitely still drinkable. It's under 500. It's not really going really to do you any harm. Um, definitely not purified water, and you'll see what I mean by that in a second here as we continue down the line. These are, by the way, in no particular order, so don't think for any reason that this is from purist or non-purist to purist. So here is the tap water that we just tested previously at 400, run through a Brita um, filter pitcher, which you just keep in the fridge. As I mentioned, a lot of people have them. I was curious to see how effective these Brita filters actually, pitchers actually are in filtering water. Um, so here we go, 243 ppm's. We went from 400 to 243. That's not too bad. That's definitely filtering. We can uh, say that much. Next one we have here is Epso Pure, which is just uh, water bottled here in Michigan. Filtered bottled water, nothing special about it. 267 ppm's. So, that basically means that this is actually less purified than the Brita pitcher water. So, we went from 400 down to uh, 243 with this, and we're at 267 with bottled Epsom here, so you're actually better off drinking tap water through a Brita filter. <clears throat> Okay, next one we have here is Aquafina. This one's not budging at all. 
went in with the same reading that it's going to come out as. 5 ppms. That's pretty significant. 5 ppms is extremely low. The range goes from 0 to up over 1,000. Um, anything from 0 to 50 is considered extremely healthy. That's the purest water that you can be drinking. Um, so to be at 5, you're next to perfect water with Aquafina there. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. I have to say personally that I didn't really expect that from Aquafina. I was expecting that from further down the line here, but we'll see what those come up as. Okay, here's Dasani. Dasani is bottled by Coca-Cola. Okay. 20 ppms for Dasani. Still within that 0 to 50, very healthy range. Very respectable. Now for Ice Mountain. Okay. Ice Mountain coming in at 215. 215 parts per million for Ice Mountain. Definitely not anywhere that we've been testing with these other ones. Um, but it's definitely still drinkable water. There's nothing wrong with 215. That's lower than the Brita uh, pitcher. So here's Fiji. I'm assuming if you're watching this, looking at this lineup, you probably had some high expectations for Fiji. It's the most expensive water bottle on this table. And uh, it's marketed as being extremely pure and blah, blah, blah. So I have nothing against Fiji. I'm just saying. Fiji, 125 parts per million. So higher than both Aquafina and Dasani, but lower than Ice Mountain, Abs Appear, Tap Water, and Brita. And the last one we have here is Smart Water. This one is as well staying the same from when it entered. 21 parts per million for Smart Water. Okay, so with that being said, I can rearrange these for you so you get a visual representation here of what was the healthiest and what was not. Let's see. All right, so starting with Aquafina on this end and ending with tap water on this end, we're going from the purest, cleanest bottled water that you can be drinking, Aquafina, all the way down to 400 part per million tap water in my case. And that's going to vary for everyone. You might have well water, well water varies, city water varies from city to city, depending on the different chemicals that they're adding to the water. So you might get um, a multitude of uh, different readings for your tap water. It might not be the same. Yours might be higher, yours might be lower. So uh, with all that being said, um, I want to let everyone know that before I ran this test, um, I actually ran two previous tests with all the same water, the same cups, um, and I uh, got the same results. Now I can say that with the results we have here, everything is within uh, three to four parts per million is what we've measured. So, but for example, Aquafina, Dasani, and Smart Water were unchanged with all three. So they were very solid um, part per million readings. There was a uh, little variation with all three of them. So, and once again, all of these options are still healthy to drink. Anything under 500 is still good for you according to the EPA. So unless you've got uh, water that's testing at above a thousand, then you might have something to worry about. So thanks for tuning in and uh, watching what we have here. I plan on doing a couple more videos with some different water in the future, maybe some boxed water, pond water, just for comparison's sake so you guys get an idea of uh, what to compare what you're drinking to. Thanks for watching.